Welcome back. In the previous part, we got our hands on the second component needed for the central hub. So let's see about trying to find the third component. Hey, Kali and Yua! Oh, Adira is here too! Hey, it's the Traveler and Paimon! How are you? Did you rest well? I'm feeling refreshed. Yep, this is a comfortable place to rest. I guess that's one thing here that's better than the desert. But other than that, there's not much going for this place. Saying things like that isn't going to help, Adia. But it's the truth. The desert is full of terrible memories for me. Being there was like... Yeah, like wading through thick mud. That's a weird way to put it. Hmm. Actually, if you hadn't mentioned it, Paimon would have already forgotten that this domain is in the desert. And the fact it's in a bottle, are you forgetting that bit as well? I know what you mean. The air here isn't at all like the desert. It's very humid. Almost as if we're in the rainforest. It's a very familiar feeling for me. <sighs> Everyone looks well rested. If you're ready, we can start making our way to the jungle north of here. Good luck, everyone! I'll be rooting for ya! Hold on. I said we, didn't I? No need to say goodbye, because you're coming too. Huh? But wait, I I'm, I'm just the mascot! You can't back out this time, Adia. The manager of the fairgrounds is waiting to see you. She said Adia is the only person who could help. The, um, the fairgrounds? Yes, Kale and I discovered a fairgrounds in the forest. The person in charge of it seems to be a Spotamod scholar. A scholar? But what's she doing there? Researching the forest ley lines? Oh, I wish there were ley lines here that I could ever study. Anyway, I know who you're talking about. I'd better come along then. Oh, very well. Mirage Paradise in Crisis. Oh dear. Alright, so... Hmm. How do we get you? Yeah. You can see it floating there, but how do, how do, how do, how do, how do, how, 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 how do we get it? Hmm. No Here's me trying to, to look for a way to climb it. Alright, duck! But I can just go up the yeah. stairs, ladder, ramp here. Please, oh, please help. Uh, Alright then. I don't have any easily accessible wind. I'll come back to that at a later date. Alright, so. We want up there. Let's travel from there then. Because this one should give us some height. So we can float on over. It'd be a shame if we can't revisit this area in future. Ooh. Hello. Because that's something I do like about Honkai Star Rail is the events we're getting are actually accessible in the future to people who come to the game at a later date. They won't be able to get the um, timed awards, but... They'll still be able to have a play with the event and see what happens sort of thing. Because I missed out on the official event, so... No time to lose. Something to do with meteors, that's that's pretty much all I know there. <laughs> I missed out on that. There's no way for me to replay that. Bit of a shame, really. Bit of a shame. Especially because I really, really do like Fischl. She's She's a really cool character. Pick up all this stuff while we're on the way. There's an arrow. Very ominous. Uh huh. So what's all this then? Once you picked up a gleaming lamp's brilliant mirror, you can grant color to the lamp's light. When the correct color of the light shines upon the lamp gem, the gem will be activated and certain treasure chests or other devices will be unlocked. Okay. Guess that's a little tutorial on our way then. Destiny has brought me hither. 
Has it indeed. See about taking these guys out on the way as well. I'm gonna get all these chests that I see now. Because again, I'm trying to get as many poles as I can because I want to change up my group when we get some Fontaine characters coming our way. I want to get the sea slug character, the sea bunny. The more of the merrier. The <laughs> first round's on me. Oh my. Still don't know how my team's gonna turn out, though. We shall see, though. We shall see. It'll be fun, though. It'll be fun. Haven't changed up my group for quite a while at this point. If you bring a brilliant mirror into the illumination radius of a different colored gleaming lamp, the mirror will be... subsumed. Oh. So if I brought that into here... Oh my! It was subsumed. Okay. So I put that in there now. What? Will it be subsumed? <gasps> it was subsumed. How do I do that then? Maybe I get both of them at the same time. No, I can't. Oh, I see. Just put it in. Yeah. Don't go into the light. Simple as that. Huh. I was Where overthinking it. Overthinking it. Oh, finally, someone has arrived. Sorry to keep you waiting, Mimuna. We've brought a deal with us. Thank you, Kale. It's been quite some time since I've seen you, Idia. To be honest, I didn't think you'd actually show up. If anything, I thought you'd be curled up somewhere crying alone. Hey, you shouldn't be saying things like that. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be the first time Paimon's heard someone say that about Idia, though. You wanna see me cry? Fine! I'll stop crying! Right here! Uh, no, please don't. All right, all right, I shouldn't have said that. Now, who are these two? Hi, I'm Twitter This is Paimon. That's my emergency food, you know, just in case. And Paimon is Paimon! They're reliable helpers. Lucky for you that I found them. You'd better be more careful about how you speak to them, okay? Of course. Good to meet you. You may call me Maymuna. For the sake of time, we should forego the usual pleasantries. Please follow me. Oh, all right then. I expected pleasantries, but no. No roller coaster aspect. No choo choos. Oh dear. I like my choo-choos. Oh, a big tent. Wow! Look at that huge tent! Amazing, isn't it? I helped make it. What fun would a fairground be without a tent, right? Really? You couldn't be so pathetic. You just act modest all the time to hide your actual abilities. Uh, huh? What is it, Kale? Uh, sorry. <laughs> I'm not sure if I should tell you. I'm afraid it might dampen the mood. <laughs> That's not important. Please, just speak your mind. Uh, well... There are lots of vendor booths set up here, but there's no one running them. In fact, there's no one at this fair at all. <laughs> it looks pretty deserted. The truth is, this used to be an exciting and bustling place. But just a few days ago, something happened and it seemed like... Everything was upside down. Like, 
The world was suddenly flipped upside down? Yes, exactly. Something fell from the central hub into the tent and knocked down the crystal light that was hanging at the top. Oh, the crystal light. Mm-hmm. I remember a certain someone said that we should have beautiful lights to celebrate at a fair, and made us that crystal light. But once the light fell, the tent became a complete mess and the Hydro Eidolans were trapped inside. Just when I was at my wit's end, a man from the Lawrence clan came and offered his assistance. Wait, he offered to help you? Yes, and he refused to listen to any of my warnings. He just walked straight into the tent, and then... Yes? And then? Yeah! Don't leave us hanging here! What happened? And... That's it. He became trapped inside along with the Hydro Eidolans. Yet another victim. Gurgle! Oh no! We have to do something! We can't just leave him there, Maimuna! I know, but the situation inside might be more difficult than you think. You should mentally prepare yourselves. Just talking about it is a waste of time. Since we're already here, let's go and scout out the situation ourselves. <sighs> All right. This way, please. Let's go have a gander in the big tent. Something tells me it's going to be bigger on the inside. Just got that feeling. There used to be a large stage inside, but after everything got shaken up, it seems the very nature of the entire place was altered. The lamps and crystal light that were hanging above have all fallen down, which makes repairs near impossible. Wait, so you mean it's difficult to move around in there? Yes, mainly because of the lights. Do any of you have experience being on stage? Once the stage lights turn on, everyone's attention is focused on you. Uh, I can't stand that feeling. Having everyone's attention focus solely on me would just make me feel terrible. Me too! I'm no good at speaking in front of people. And then to have everyone staring at you? Oh, just the thought of it makes me shudder. Sounds like you have some things you haven't been able to let go of yet. <sighs> Please don't laugh. I'm trying my best to change that, but there are still some things I can't overcome. Like when there's a lot of people around, or when people are staring at me. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't think she's going to laugh at that. She'll probably understand in some regard. No, there's nothing funny about that. And you know what? It's not a bad thing to care when other people are looking. That's my opinion anyway. Think about it. Only people who have high standards for themselves would worry about failing to meet others' expectations. You have many good qualities, Kale. I bet if you had to learn dance since childhood like myself, then you'd be an even better dancer than me. No, no way! <laughs> that would be impossible. I can relate. I know exactly how she feels. Maybe we should find a time for you to learn with me. And one day, you will become an outstanding dancer, too. By that time, you'll be so focused on performing your beautiful moves that you'll no longer worry about an audience watching you. That's a nice suggestion. Wow. You are so passionate about this that she's practically glowing now. Really? You do that? You wouldn't think I look stupid and secretly laugh at me, would you? Hmm. <laughs> You really think I'm that kind of person? Fine. Vengeance will be mine. Oh, no! Of course not! A all right. Please teach me. Seems there's no need for me to warn you again. Anyway, you just need to open the curtain and you'll be able to see the stage. Open up that curtain! So, we're looking for... Oh, we're just rotating the lamp. I was looking for one of the mirror things. Very well. Oh, much bigger on the inside. Look at that. Wait, what's that thing in the middle there? That's my crystal light. It's been locked up. <laughs> 
Well, let's figure out a way to fix this. Looks like we need to raise the platform underneath the crystal light. If I remember correctly, the stage controls should be somewhere around here. The music again. It's reminding me of, say, Mario, something like, um, maybe around the GameCube or Wii era. Hmm. Do I have a brilliant mirror? I don't, do I, so... Or light removed. Oh. What have we done now? It seems we have to use the colorful lens to make the light change colors. Question is, where are they? Oh. Over there. <gasps> Alright, lads. Hi! D don't touch me! Beg for mercy. There we go. More speed. More speed. More speed. More speed. That's one way of shining new light on the problem. Hey, Maymuna, do you happen to know someone named Sino? No, never heard that name before. Why do you ask? Oh, never mind then. I was just thinking you two would have a lot in common. <clears throat> Back to the situation at hand, we should probably head into the passageway that opened now. Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> Hello? Is anyone here? If you can hear me, please help! Lessig Lawrence? Who are you? Who has the audacity to utter my full name? Uh, you sure don't look like you're in any condition to be talking like that! Yep. He's a member of the Lawrence clan, all right. Even though he's hanging on by a thread, he still insists on clinging to meaningless etiquette. You. What are you doing here? Huh. Have you come here to mock me, Eula? If you would just think for a moment, it should be pretty obvious why we are here. Yet, now you're intentionally trying to provoke me? Of course, you don't have to accept my help. After all, aristocrats are naturally superior and need no help from others. Yes, thanks for the reminder. I don't need help from the likes of you. I don't think he really means it, Eula. His tone was harsh, but he keeps glancing at you from the corner of his eyes. It's my opinion as the healer that he needs help. Obviously. Okay. <laughs> He's been trapped for so long that it seems he's forgotten how to hold a decent conversation. <laughs> how ridiculous. Let's go. We'll leave the stage to this person who'd rather save face than save his own life. Hey, no, no, wait! Uh, halt! You cannot just leave me here. We're both of the Lawrence bloodline after all. Helping me when necessary certainly won't tarnish your prestige. If anything, my embarrassing predicament will be overshadowed by your virtuous deed. We must uphold the prestige and dignity of the family. Oh, mate, you've fallen for her ruse, haven't you? This is the best reason you could come up with? You think tacking on the word family will be enough to talk me into helping you? You should be ashamed for your careless actions. It's because of you that we all had to come here. I... Uh... Seems everyone in the Lawrence clan is this way. They'll do anything to save face. Even though Eula sounds harsh, we did come all the way here to save him. Alright, alright. Looks like it's time for the mascot to step in. Here you go. One for Eula. And one for Lessig. What is this? Candy? 
Uh, thanks. Oh, the smell! It's just like the aroma I smelled coming from the lens. Yes, that's right! Enjoying something sweet always lightens the mood. Oh, thank you, Miss Mascot. I certainly do feel much better now. <laughs> so he's willing to thank someone else, but not me. Eula has been worrying about you the past few days, and asked me several times regarding how to find you. But now that you two have been reunited, I won't have to keep answering her questions anymore! <laughs> oh, I'm so happy! Let me clarify one thing. I don't care what happens to him. If you're going to keep saying nonsense like this, then... Eula will never admit that she actually cares about him. Yeah, you're probably right. If you're going to keep saying nonsense like this, then... Uh, then at least give me another piece of candy. Hmm? Oh, sure, sure! I, I still have more! Sorry, I admit my mistake. I know I've caused heaps of trouble for all of you. <laughs> Why couldn't you have just said that earlier? I'm back. Oh? Have you already finished catching up? Why are you all looking at me? Oh, uh, nothing. Don't mind us. All right, then let's clean things up here and keep working our way toward getting the crystal light fixed. Ah, there's no need to push yourself in your condition, Lessig. I'll take him and find some place for him to rest. I happen to be a little tired myself. All right, I'll leave my cousin to you then. He's a handful. You'd better rest up and regain your strength before we settle things, Lessig. Oh dear. Right. Let's unlock and raise the crystal light. Jump then. Da 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 something like that anyway. Now let's see if there's any way to keep raising the platform higher. We probably will need to find a mechanism that's like a lamp. Strange. Is that really the Lessig that I know? You shouldn't always judge people based on the way you knew them before. People change, and people can always make different choices. Hmm. Oh. I was hoping to hold on to both of them. Oh, look! There's a water droplet over there! Ah! Oh, a Hydro Idolin! It must have been trapped in the curtain. But at least it seems to be okay. Gurgle. Gurgle! Gurgle! Oh! Let's go put you in the other one, though. The colored pieces of the bullet have melted! Yes, the lens is made of materials that are easily melted by light. Is it me, or do I smell something sweet here? I need to get across. At least it gave me a way to jump over. Right. Huh. Ah. Da 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 Oh, devious. Ah. We ascend! Where does this one go, then? Oh, is that just dropping me out there? Alright, fair enough. Was that just for a chest? I assume so. So, what do we do now? Because I made that ascend, but... Now, now what? Do I have to get this again? Because, yeah, that's not projecting the correct color of light. Have I still got it with me? Yes. So that's how we get across with it. There we go. There we are. It is a magical tent, after all. 
The inside is much larger than it appears from the outside. Haven't you heard stories with this sort of thing before? Only in a police box. Oh, another path has appeared! This should be the last level! Yes, don't worry. We're almost to the top of the tent. The last thing we need to do is raise the crystal light to the very top of the tent. After the stage collapsed, I realized that having it raised only halfway makes it look a lot like the stage at the Grand Bazaar. Have any of you visited the Grand Bazaar before? No, I haven't. I have. I've gone there a few times with Master Tainari. The place is bustling with all kinds of vendors. And if you're lucky, you can see Nilu perform her dance. Oh, a dance from Sumeru? <laughs> I'd like to see that myself. Hmm. If only it were on the way back, then we could stop there. It doesn't matter if it's on the way or not. I would be happy to take you whenever you have time, Eula. Great. I'll take you up on that offer. I mean, we've been to the Grand Bazaar. It is a lovely place. Although it does sound like we're bragging a bit, doesn't it? Yeah! Hmm. Now that Paimon thinks about it, we've already been there more times than Paimon can remember! Really? My father used to help with festivities at the Grand Bazaar and would always give me candy during the events. I was just a kid and didn't understand anything. I was happy as long as he gave me some candy. To me, fairs and festivals were the best things ever. I always thought my father was amazing and wanted to be just like him when I grew up. But aren't you a scholar in the academia, Mimuna? As far as I know, scholars seldom could spend time doing anything but research. I doubt you could have time to assist your father in preparing festivities. Yeah, seems you read me like a book. When I had the choice between becoming who I wanted to be and who my parents wanted me to be, I ended up choosing the latter. But I was never happy about it. Huh. That's almost the exact opposite of Eula's situation. You must have already realized that. Why else would you set up all the booths here and make this place like a fairgrounds? Yes, but I'm still not as happy as I imagined I would be. I realized that attending a fair and running a fair are two completely different things. The main reason my childhood was so fun and carefree is because my family worked hard. But my father knew how difficult and tiring running a fair could be, so he wanted to push me towards academics. <sighs> but in the end, I didn't do well in either. I gave up on myself and resorted to investigating ley lines in the desert. Some things happened and then I accidentally ended up here. I finally had a chance to make my wish of running a fair come true. But after seeing everything come crashing down, I feel like I've lost the strength to go on. It's not as bad as you make it out to be, Mimuna. No need to feel so down. You have the courage to change and you've been actively guiding us on this journey. Someone who's given up on themselves could never do these things. Oh, Kale. I understand my situation better than anyone. You don't need to try to comfort me. It's not that I'm trying to comfort you. It's just that people sometimes don't realize that their actions speak louder than words. Believe me, this is something that I learned from my time together with Eula. Oh, what are you trying to say? Oh, uh, <laughs> nothing. <clears throat> Now, let's get that crystal light fixed. All right. You want to be careful there, Kalei. <laughs> Wondering what that was. Just a backpack. Just a backpack. Oh, I do like this music. All right, so let's rotate the lamp. And install the mirror. Where's this one projecting? This reminds me a bit of Final Fantasy IX as well. Yes, we got one more as well. Okay. <laughs> it's not as responsive as you'd think it would be. You gotta be very wary. Ok. 
Okay, so rotate. If we're going to raise the crystal light, then we need to open the top of the tent. Can, can you let me install it? Thank you. Ooh, pretty. Oh, I like it. I like it. about myself. I don't know if I should be worried for him or <laughs> happy for her. Uh, the shadow. It's massive. Uh, wait. The shadow just now. It's... Uh. Uh, uh, it seems he still might need a little more time to recover. Tell me, did everything go well for you all? Of course. With a team like the Traveler, Paimon, Kale, and Eula, they're at least 40 times more reliable than you ever were. Only 40 times more reliable? That means I'm still pretty good then! What? I, I was gonna go with, that's harsh, but that's your response? Okay. <sighs> I guess it's impossible to feel like you've lost once you've already given up. I'm a little concerned about how comfortable you are with that. Huh? What has happened? How did I get outside of the tent? You walked. Oh, that's right. I remember meeting Eula, and then... And then... Oh, my head. Oh, you're awake now. Uh, don't worry. Th that's just a side effect of your treatment, Lessig. I'm afraid I still feel a little disoriented. I'm scared to ask what kind of treatment he's receiving. Lessig Lawrence. Oh, it's you, Eula. All right, all right, I'll do it. I'll come back to Mondstadt with you and abandon my wild efforts to restore the Lawrence clan. Interesting. Now you want to talk. Seems like you've had a change of heart. In that case, maybe you'll be able to explain everything in detail for us now. I... Uh, I admit it, yes. I came here in hopes of finding a way to restore the Lawrence clan to its former glory. Odd place to try and do that, though, but okay. But it was a long journey, and I didn't always know the way. I passed through Liyue and Sumeru. There was even a time when I lost my wallet and had to live in the wild. But the peculiar thing is, I realized that nobody knew me out there. And not a single person even cared about the Lawrence clan. You and I are like glass pawns that were raised in shackles. We were taught to act like nobles, but outside the walls of our home, the people of Mondstadt despised us. Such pompous, hateful, and stubborn teaching. It all culminated to making us cling to the old aristocratic dogma in an attempt to maintain our pride. It's like a never-ending game of tug-of-war, but it is meaningless. You understand. Or I should say, you have already long understood. But I'm afraid that I have only just realized this. But at least you did realize it. Understands what Lessig is saying. Everything he said is true. Your family is probably unaware that you've already changed how you see things. Yes, this has all happened recently. After coming to this domain, I realized the Mondstadt that I want is one where not everyone fears me. 
All that I and many other members of the Lawrence clan long for is a place where we can live peacefully with others. Lessig, both you and I never had anything to do with the glory of the Lawrence clan. That is all in the past. We are just ordinary people. <sighs> I originally planned on returning to Mondstadt after taking care of things here. I never thought you would come here. I was completely shocked, which is why I reacted like I did. I'm sorry. See, people can always make different choices, and it seems that Lasik has also chosen to become someone he truly wants to be. <clears throat> yes, about that. I'm afraid I haven't quite found my own purpose in life yet. That's all right. Being able to clearly choose between becoming who you want to be and who your parents wanted you to be is already a step in the right direction. How to find true happiness is probably one of the most difficult research topics of all. I have a suggestion for you, Lessig. Why don't you return to Mondstadt and tell your parents what you just told us? <laughs> They'll probably try to tear me limb from limb. But what about you? Did you ever tell your family about what you think? This is something that I've been thinking about, too. Perhaps the two of us can sit down with the rest of the clan and discuss it with them. It's probably for the best, yeah. The Lawrence clan is just like this stage. It was once home to glorious performances, but those days are now long gone. And it is time for the stage to be updated. She's so solid and tough, but also clear and open, like an ice cube. Is that why she's able to dance anytime and anywhere she wishes? Um, are you all done talking now? Yes, I think so. By the way, that is for you. Please take it. I found it on Lessig earlier. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's one of the missing components! Wait... So you had it all this time? Why didn't you give it to me earlier? Well, you didn't ask. All right, I admit it. I forgot about it. <laughs> okay, we'll let the Traveler hold on to it for now. Hmm? Wait, this looks like... It looks pretty familiar. Have we seen one of these before? It looks like a pie. Uh, many times, some might say too many. It's apparently a candy box, yes. Ah, right. I also bought a similar box at the last festival. Yes, people often use this kind of box for candy at festivals. This was one of the materials originally used to create the tent. But now that the tent has been repaired, we no longer need it. Eating the candy from the box as an adult will never be as delicious as it was when you were a kid. But if you really think about it, there are way more things you can eat as an adult. Like bacon. Ah, so when it comes down to it, eating candy is sort of like life. It's just another choice. Hmm. So, as of now, we've already collected three of the missing components. Only one more to go! I'm sorry that repairing the tent took so much of everyone's time. You should all head back and have a rest. I'll lead the way. I fancy some bacon now. Well, we'll end this part here then. And in between the parts, I'll get myself some bacon. Yeah. And in the next part, we'll return to the silver bottle courtyard and... See what happens next and where we go next. Ooh. I'll look, I'll look at that at some point as well. But anyway, yeah, that's us done for this part. I, I really did enjoy going through the big tent here and the um, Lawrence family story. That, that, that was good. Yeah, kind of a bit of not closure on Eula's story. Some advancement. That's probably the best way of putting it. Some advancement on Eula's story. I do. I do like that. I do appreciate that. Right. Let's end this part here then. We'll see you in the next part. Ta-da for now.